In this video, we will understand the concept of successive percentage change. This concept is very useful in solving problems of CSAT. To understand this concept, we will take example. Suppose in a first year, A salary is increased by 10% and in the second year, the salary increases by 20% then what would be the net salary of the A? Suppose in the first year it increased by 10%. In the second year it increased by 20%. Then what would be the net increase in the income? To solve this problem in a conventional method Suppose the income is 100, so after one year it would be 110 and in the second year it is increased by 20%, it means 110 into 120 upon 100 or this is nothing but the multiplying factor that we learned in the previous video. So we will get one thirty two. So this would be the net income of the A. This problem can be solved by another way. Like to solve this kind of problem we will first calculate the net percentage change. What would be the next net percentage change? For this, we need the net multiplying factor. So to calculate the net, uh, net multiplying factor, let's consider first First change is A percent, then we change by V percent. So the net change is to calculate the net change, the net multiplying factor would be 1 plus A upon 100 into 1 plus B upon 100. So after solving this, we, we will get 1 plus A upon 100 plus B upon 100 plus A B upon 100. This can be written as 1 plus A plus V plus AV upon 100 upon 100. So this was a percentage change, this was a percentage change and this would be the net percentage change. So the net percentage change would be A plus V plus AV upon so two successive percentage change a percent and b percent is an related into effective change of a plus b plus a b upon 100 we will use the concept of successive percentage change in this problem like in this problem the radius of a circle is increased by 20 percent the radius r is increased by 20 percent then what percentage change does the circumference the circumference is nothing but the 2 pi r if the r increases by 20 percent so the relation is circumference directly proportional to r and there is no power to r so the circumference would also increase by 20 percent on the other hand area area is pi r square so area proportional to r square r can be written as r square can be written as r cross r so r is increase, increasing first by 20 percent then again by 20 percent so in this problem a equals to 10 percent and b also equal to 10 percent 
so the effective percentage change would be net R would be A plus B plus A B upon 100 equals to 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 upon 100 it would be sorry 20 20 20 20 20 20 so it would be 44 percent in this problem the price of onion is increased by 20 percent and then 40 percent then what would be the price of onion if the only the original price is 25 per kg initial price of onion is 25 it increases first by 20 percent then by 40 percent so 20 percent is a 40 percent is b so net change will be a plus b plus a b upon 100 equals to 20 plus 40 plus 20 into 40 upon 100 it would be 68 so the original price was 25 now it increased by 68 percent so the final will be 1 plus 68 upon 100 it would be 42 in this problem I also want to introduce from another matter that can be called the fraction method like the original price was 25 so after the increase of 24% we can write it as 1 plus 20 upon 100 and then it increases by 40% that can be written as 40 upon 100 these are nothing but the multiplying factor so we can write these multiplying factor in form of fractions so this 20% can be written as 6 upon 5 and the 40% can be written as 7 upon 5 so B can easily get the answer very easily 42 now in other videos we will see the applications of percentage like indexing, simple interest and compound interest, profit and loss etc. So thank you.